Welcome to Violin Adventures number 103. And welcome to all the new subscribers and thank you to all the faithful watchers. I really appreciate it. Now let's jump in to the special violin. Okay, we're working on this patch to blend it and this is one of the fun things I really enjoy doing. So, I'll show you how it turns out. Our first coat's on and we'll probably do one more coat, but I want to show you outside. It's thundering and it's been raining just a little bit. So I want to show you what it looks like out there. Let's go see. Well, here it is outside. It's raining just a little bit. Sky is overcast and dark clouds. You can see the beautiful colors in the green trees. All the different hues of green. Next is the new violin. he would probably not get so worn out. <laughs> okay, Freddie, can you do this? Because this is a lot of hard work. Hmm. I can try because I'm big. Okay, you got it? Yeah, I'm big. Okay, let's go now. Too hard? Yeah. I'm trying though. I can do it. I'm big. Whoops. Here, let me help you. And then the viola. We're over here at the viola table. And the next thing we need to do on this viola is put in the upper and lower blocks. And one of you mentioned the cleats in here. These are linen cleats, so they're not gonna add a lot of weight or anything to the viola. But right now, well, let's get the lower and upper blocks in. All right, it's ready. Now we'll get some glue going. Okay, we have the upper and lower blocks ready to go. They're fitted, the height is right now. And so we're warming up the glue and we'll get these clamped.
is Labor Day, and you know, that means you got to labor really hard, right? So we got our clamping done here on our viola. And over here on our special violin, we have the patch. We were working on the coloring on that. And it looks like maybe one more day of color touch up and it should look really good. And over here is our new violin. We got a lot of carving done and even Freddie helped out a bit. <laughs> okay, it's time to take these clamps off and let this viola have a little rest. I just made sure that this will go on there nicely and everything looks good so it's time to put a sealer coat on. Okay, so as soon as that dries, which shouldn't be too long because the alcohol evaporates pretty quickly, uh, then we'll go ahead and put a label in there and then we can close it up. And here's a little peek at Freddy. He's up to something. Hi guys, I'm Freddy. Uh, I'm in the machine room and uh, all my friends on, on the comment section told me, me to be careful and not to play around on the machines. So uh, I'm sitting on on this machine. See? This is okay, right? Well, anyway, I snuck in here because I heard that that this Cheryl, that she's going to use the drill press. And, and I, I wanted to try the drill press out first. So I ran in here to try and, and turn it on, but but then I remembered what you said, that I better be careful so I don't hurt myself. So, I'm just sitting here. But, I'm trying to find out where else I can play. Because, uh, if I can't play in the machine room, well, where can I play? Back to the new violin. Okay, here we go. More carving. Would love to get Freddie on this job, but I think he's just a little too small. I'm going to go sharpen this one on the Tormek because I think it should cut better than that. Oh, this is so fascinating! Fascinating! That's a big word because I am big! Wow! Look at this wheel turn! This wheel is turning too. This is a fun toy. Hey, look you guys, I can put the water in. sharpen something real fast before Miss Cheryl gets down here. I wonder how you have to do this. Uh-oh, here she comes. I better get out of here. Bye! Okay, I see somebody turned this on. And there's not enough water in there. That must mean that Freddie was around here. There it goes. The 
this takes a lot of water when it hasn't been going for a while. I think I'll put a little bit more in because the wheel is really thirsty. Now it's just remembering what tool works best with these. And this I think is for the little ones. Might work. Okay, so this is hitting, if we go here, we're hitting the top. So we need to go right in the middle, maybe here. Okay, there's our finished. I'm gonna go check on this and see how it works on the wood. Okay, we're back from the sharpeners and let's see how it goes. Yeah, so much less force I'm having to use. And also, it looks so nice. And I'm so used to dreading having to go sharpen because it takes so long before and it would never be so smooth. So it's always good to go sharpen your tools when you can, especially when you've got a good system. around and I'm going to look in these doors and, and see what I can find. So we have to be quiet so Miss Cheryl can't, can't, can't see me sneaking around. Oh, look in here. drawers all the way up I can climb. There, see, I, I opened the door so I can climb up. I gotta see what's in this drawer. But it's hard to get it open. And then the viola. The 
And we're putting in our little repair ticket. Okay, it's time to close up our viola. The special violin. Okay, here is our beautiful special violin. Here's the inlay uh, touch-up on the scroll. And I think the next thing we need to do is set this back up. Okay, our special violin is back in service again. And uh, these strings are very, very old. Very, very old. So this is gonna sound a lot prettier with new strings. But I'm gonna go ahead and play it so we can hear it one last time. The new violin. Okay, we gotta get a good look at these trees before the leaves start coming off. And right out here, next to the creek, I see some bright yellow flowers. So we gotta check them out. Okay, here's our creek. I have not been down here for a while. And I, there's supposed to be some big rains coming along. So this will probably fill up a bit, but here, let's take a look at these wild plants. There's the yellow ones. And then next to that are some real pretty little red ones. Look like, it looks like those red ones are all along the bank. How pretty. Okay, here we are ending the day. So let's look at our new violin. And we're still gouging. We're doing a little bit of thumb planing, but still a lot of gouging because you can see how very thick this back is. And I need to take that down, down just a little bit. Then on to our beautiful special violin. And it's all set up and ready to go back to the owner as soon as she calls for it. And here's our viola, all closed up and ready to get work done on the button and the neck.
and a special announcement from Freddy. Hey you guys, I heard Miss Cheryl talking on the phone and, and she was talking about the videos that you guys watch and she said that maybe all of you guys can send in pictures of your shops and if you don't have a wood shop, maybe you have a metal shop and if you don't have a metal shop, maybe you could send a picture of you guys working wherever you work, wherever, you're, wherever you go to work. And if everyone will send in a picture of them working at their jobs, then she was going to post it in the next video. I think that's a good idea because I want to see your shops and see what you do in your shops. So uh, that's what I heard her talking about. So if you don't mind, you could send it in and surprise her because she'll probably forget to, to tell you guys to do that, okay? Now, I better get going, okay? Bye! What he's trying to say is if everyone could send in just whatever you do during the day, send us a picture and then I'll compile all of them and share it on the next episode and we can see what everyone does if you'd like. If you don't want your picture in there, then just send us a picture of your shop. But it would be fun to share what everyone is doing. And also, let me know if you'd like your name included or if you want to be anonymous. I'll link my email in the information box below so that you can email me your pictures and your preferences. Rashit Hakma Yarat Hashem Sekel Tovlako Esehem Tehilato Omedit Laad. The beginning of wisdom is to fear or reverence the Lord and a good understanding to all who do his commands. His praise endures forever. If you know where this verse is found, please leave it in the comments below. And thank you for sending in your favorite verses. And if you'd like me to read a verse in Hebrew, please put it in the comments below. Well, thank you so much for watching, for all your wonderful conversations in the comments, and for your thumbs up. I really appreciate all of this. And until next time, God bless you. Bye.